and it did pretty well. So what I want to see is when you have 10 minute time limit, how well can this strategy work of answer, trying to answer multiple choice questions using ChatGPT. Again, uh, this is uh, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't your instructor doing it, it would be cheating. So please don't do it. But I just wanted to try that. I'm curious. So let me just set this up and then we'll cheat our way through and see how well that works. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so one thing I do ha uh, have been relying on is, is the time limit that... Um, that the 10 minute time limit is so short that uh, you really can't use check. Um, and I guess, you know, it was never going to be robust against someone taking the assessment for you. Like that was never the goal. Um, but I was uh, relying on at least that being kind of expensive for people to do. Because, um, or, you know, you need to have a really good friend. <laughs> or whatever. Now, if it's a chat GPT can give you a good multiple choice score, then I'll know to uh, not rely on good multiple choice results on trying to assess if someone understands the physics. So anyways, so I, I think I'm ready. Uh, it's 421, so I have 10 minutes once I start. And uh, we'll see. Using chat GPT and not using any of my knowledge as an expert in physics, let's see how well we do. And I'm not going to explain anything because I think the ChatGPT approach will be really uh, time limited. So I'm just going to um, focus on doing this quickly now. Oh, I can start working on the next thing while it's answering. So, especially if I basically commit to not even um, understanding anything. Like, not bother reading its answer because it starts out with uh, what its answer is. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't do calculation questions well. So, um, I've had noticed that, so um, that might be something I can still rely on. If uh, someone does all the other questions well, but just uh, bombs every single calculation question, maybe uh, that can that's something I can use. <laughs> maybe it'll do it right, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm not bothering to understand. Yeah. But time usage wise, I think, uh, yeah. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I'll be so disappointed if a church appeared to get 100%. Um, I don't think it will. So, you know, the, any questions that I miss, I will actually go back and do it uh, properly and um, try to make sure to get it correctly. Uh, or, you know, show you what the correct answer is for the ones that ChatGPT missed. Why is this starting out with answer? Okay. I'm role playing a cheating student. Ah, press the wrong key. Uh, yeah, that's wrong. I, with a de detailed reading, I know that to be wrong. It's just that's just such a common mistake. Um, oh wow, that's annoying. Um, 
All right, that, uh, I guess I'm uh, biasing it in a little bit that I'm correctly spelling out microsecond. I don't think a lot of students who cheat can uh, do that correctly. Because uh, you got to know what things are called to type it out. That's okay. I wonder if, uh, I don't think there's a way to make it so that, uh, oops. Okay, so the MyOp method is an option for uh, making it hard to print the set. I don't think there's an option for making it hard to copy. Um, it kind of goes against the accessibility to make um, text information difficult to access. How much time do I have left? Oh, five minutes. Wow. In terms of speed, I think ChatGPT does it at similar or faster speed than I do. No, machines, they are fast, even though they are not good. Almost there. Right, so I'm going to see. So I'm going to... Oh. Maybe that's right. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's insane. I, I think it's faster for me to just type it out. The uh, rest energy of uh, 60 kilogram less is 7.2 E, uh, 16 joule. It understands that format. 5.4 E, 16 joule. I'm putting an E16 to E16 to E0 to because of missile is the first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it'll get that right. Or not, I don't know. 5.4, yeah, probably. All right, so I think that's uh, all the questions answered. Um, let's submit an end, and then uh, we'll see how well it did. I don't think I have access to which questions got are correct. So, ah, 50%. Oh, all right, all right. I, 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 I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> uh, so, so let's just go through it slowly um, and
just give proper answer. So, well, on the quantum mechanics questions I was programming in, it did a lot better. I think it might be all the numerical questions that it didn't. Um, ChatGPT is a, it's a language model. Uh, it doesn't, it's a humanities major. You can't do math well. <laughs> so let's uh, just to make sure I give you the correct answers. Um, an object moves in a direction parallel to its length. The width of this, uh, uh, width does not change. So it should have answered. Um, uh, let me just uh, write it here. So I, I'll just uh, go a few questions at a time. You'll just have to use the video as a kind of tracking mechanism. So for question one, where it says um, the correct answer is that it does not change. Because when we are talking about width, um, we are talking about, the, so if I have an object that's moving in this direction, the width, we are talking about the direction that's perpendicular to the velocity. That's the direction where the length contraction doesn't occur. So it doesn't change. Question two, what is one of the simultaneous relative? What does it mean? And at the same time, what the communication does it mean? Yeah, I think that is the correct answer. So you got that correct. So let me just keep a tally here so that I keep an accurate count of which questions. So correct, uh, one, incorrect, one. Uh, let's keep going. Questions three and four. Yeah, so for three, you have to do the calculation. Let me uh, fire up my uh, calculator. Okay, so uh, so my so let me do this. I'm gonna declare my variables: beta, uh, gamma. I think that's good. Meter stick is one meter long. So it's uh, contract the length would be uh, one divided by gamma, uh, which is gamma is one over square root of one minus beta squared. And we are substituting that with beta, uh, beta is 0 0.67. So yeah, 0 0.74 is correct. So it got that incorrect. So this would have been the length of it. Um, cosmic may ray muons are unstable particles. Moving at that, how much closer do they get to the surface of before decaying as measured by an observer? Uh, so as measured by an observer on Earth. So you have to first work out it's a time dilated a lifetime. So it's moving at that speed. Oh, I think I can use the same expression. So instead of beta being that, beta is um, 0 0.999. And I'm going to take this, multiply it to 2.2 microseconds. That will give me the time dilated time. Oh wait, that's the time contract time dilated time. Um, so, okay, I can take that output and multiply that with a three times 10 to the power of uh, eight for speed of light. That'll, because, uh, or, you know, it could be that times so 0 0.999, but it doesn't really change the answer. That's the speed of the muon, so uh, how far it travels in that time. So, I get 14 point, so 15 kilometers. So the, here the correct answer is this. So yeah, got those two correct, incorrect. So yeah, I think uh, ChatGPT is um, definitely messing up on the questions that require calculation. Um, not good at those. All right, questions five and six. Uh, suppose the speed of sound and uh, relative ground, observe on the ground have to observe sound waves in the how fast uh, from the back to the front of the plane? 340 plus 310. Yeah, so that's correct. 
uh, that's collinear relativity a lot easier uh, Alice and Baba moving past each other at that speed uh, while carrying a clock yeah so this is the time dilation paradox uh, which is that they both measure the other's clock to be slower than their own and uh, with, in lecture there's an explanation of the time dilation paradox take a look at it it's a it's the kind of argument that I don't think is very common in ChatGPT training text. So it makes sense to me that ChatGPT doesn't get those right. It's, it's the kind of thing that ex requires expertise. Okay, questions seven and eight. In frame S, oh, yeah. So I think it's uh, easiest to um, kind of think through this if you draw a space-time diagram. So um, I have my x and ct axis. Uh, one of the events happen at uh, two microseconds and hundred, uh, and I have another one at four and two eighty, um, something like that. All right. Uh, I kind of know. Um, I do need to know one thing. I need to know how how their spatial separation compares to their uh, their time separation. So let me work out the number. Uh, 180, that's the difference, or let me just, 280 minus 100 divided by four microsecond minus two microsecond. Uh, So that gives me 9 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay, so these are uh, time-like separated. Their uh, separation in time is large enough that, um, yeah, so, so if I imagine drawing some axis from here, then this is the light world line. There's enough time between these two events to send the signal from here to there. Good. Um, which means, oh, so there's no frame in which these two events occur simultaneously. That's the correct answer. Because um, for there to be a frame in which these two events can occur sim uh, simultaneously, their separation in space has to be greater, um, so that it, uh, uh, so that the light doesn't travel fast enough to go from one event to the other. And you can find the reference frame that's uh, moving fast enough, and your tilted axis um, has a, a like you know line of simultaneity that goes through the both events. That's what you need, and you you can have that with the kind of separation you have here. Okay, that incorrect. And here, unstable particle, zero electric charge, for two photons, but not one. Why this is so? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think this uh, was one of the. So this is the correct answer. It goes to one of the um, uh, conceptual questions that you had. I think. Um, yes. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, this is not the best answer. It's not the most correct answer. It's it's a vague answer. Uh, yeah, yeah. So so it got well. It must have done well towards the end. So it got one incorrect and one correct. So it must have gotten the rest remaining questions right. Uh, interesting. Uh, I had a terrible thought. Um, <laughs> I want to see how ChatGPT does on the freeform question. Uh, but let me finish this. Um, what is the momentum of a particle moving at this? Yeah. Um, I, I think that is actually correct. Let me, um, no, is it? Might not be correct. Let's just work out. So, momentum. is given by gamma and b, uh, so I need a variable m. So uh, gamma m 
v or let me define one more variable variable uh, c actually i'm going to use the unit where c is equal to one so gamma and beta is the momentum so in this expression let's do substitutions um, so I'm going to substitute uh, gamma with its uh, uh, expression in terms of beta, 1 over square root of 1 minus beta squared. And then I'm going to substitute um, beta with its value, 0 0.9, and then substitute. Um, so if I put in mass in the unit of MeV, then I think I'll be in the right unit. So M is equal to 0 0.5 MeV per C squared. Um, all right, 1.032, yeah, so 1.0, yes. Wait, I'm confused. So I must have missed one of the questions because if this is the correct answer, then, um, then that's an incorrect one. So my numbers don't add up right. Let's see if we got that right. Uh, <laughs> uh, so 0 0.6 times, yeah, I'm pretty sure it got that right. Uh, yeah, 5.4, yeah. So it didn't get that correctly. So um, yeah, let's look at the solutions. Uh, sorry, um, I must have missed one here. So the quickest way I can get to the solutions is um, I can just uh, load this in the non-student view. And I'm just going to navigate off screen to the uh, thing that shows the student test the student's result. And with my instructor view, I can see. Um, yeah, so that was incorrect, right? Good. Um, yeah, that was correct. I think I counted that as correct. Uh, and yeah, that was incorrect. And the correct answer was 0 0.74. Okay. And that was incorrect. And correct answer was 15. Okay. That was correct. All right. Yeah, that was incorrect. And correct answer was the third choice. Um, did I? So I miscalculated something here. Uh, so the calculation I did was the spatial separation minus um did I mix myself up? Um so what I'm thinking through is it's the Lorentz transformation I'm thinking through. CT prime, X prime is equal to gamma. We want the two points chosen so that this is the constant, same CT prime value. Yeah, I made a calculation mistake when I programmed in the question. So moving this over, moving the rest over, I have, um, so beta X2, is plus beta x1 um, and then let's just format it the way it's here yeah. Yeah. plus uh, plus c t2 minus t1 yeah and this is the math error that i have um, so when i divide up by beta Okay, this goes to 1, but I should have this thing dividing by beta. So what I did uh, uh, during the session was correct. I programmed this incorrectly. <laughs> so let me just uh, fix that. Uh, 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 oh, so it must be this. So the way to actually do it, not guessing, <laughs> would be, okay, take the numbers 5 and... 3 and then 1300 and 320. Yeah. Okay, so let me keep generating it. There should be a situation where um, I want to find, because there's a possibility of that actually being an answer. 
So let me just keep generating. Ah, okay. Let's see what kind of numbers it get kept. So if I calculate the slope of between the two points, ct over x, then I get uh, minus 3. Uh, I think that is time like separated, not space like separated. Yeah. Yeah. And if I do the other calculation I was doing before, you know, uh, the space, 1000 minus 500 divided by. 5v minus 6, minus 3, minus 6, then, um, you know, it, I get a number that uh, if I took the different... Oh, I, I think that makes sense. Uh, yeah, they are time-like separated, meaning uh, what I'm calculating here is the speed at which I need to travel in order to go from uh, one event to the other. Yeah, and the speed is a fraction of speed of light. I, I think that's... Yeah, it makes physical sense. Um, all right, I think it's been corrected. So, so yeah, that error remained for a long time. Um, so, okay. Um, <laughs> no one's pointed this out to me. I think, um, or is this, this might be relatively newly programmed in question. That could explain why no one's pointed it out because, um, I, uh, you guys are the first group of people to uh, work through. So um, I guess if you are watching this video and you had, if you had this as one of your multiple choice questions, there's a good chance that you lost a point unjustly. Contact me. I'll give you full credit. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I guess I'll leave it there. Uh, I, 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 so whenever something like this happens, I blame sleep deprivation. I probably was too tired when I was programming this in, so I put in beta when I should have put in 1 over beta. And when I was testing it out, I, I do test every question I program it, but I must have done it incorrectly. <laughs> I must have tested it incorrectly. So, all right, so that's a fixed. Um, I think we're good. So let me just... Uh, so yeah, it... Um, so. With these numbers, the correct answer should have been this, but the program was it was programmed incorrectly. So ChatGPT still got it wrong. So ChatGPT only got forty percent of it right. So, and I think the rest is fine. Yeah, I did this. Um,